Hey, I'm John Haroy, and we're at the uh, Design West 2012 show in San Jose, standing here in the microchip booth, specifically at our USB demo station, and I'm going to walk you through uh, our USB offering for hardware and software today. So looking down at the, uh, at the board here, we've got a number of uh, solutions ranging from uh, completely from our 8-bit PIC 18 clear up to PIC 32, and we'll walk through each particular one in turn. Starting up here in the, uh, in the corner here, we've got our PIC 18F uh, K1450, and the, uh, this is our small pin count USB devices, representing the smallest uh, device that we have for a USB device. What's really important with not only this particular board, but the rest of them that are on here, is that we offer a full USB framework because the software is really the hard part and we want our designers to get going and, and get their designs out to market quickly. Also in the PIC-18 family, we've got larger devices here and the PIC-18F starter kit allows not only USB development through the USB device connector here, but also has an onboard debugger. So this is the only tool to do that you need to, get, to do complete USB development. Um, also has a nice display and capacitive, uh, capacitive touch area as well. Again, we've got software to support USB and the, uh, and the capacitive touch. Beyond the PIC-18, we have um, a PIC-32 development board here. This is the multimedia expansion board, which uses the PIC-32 starter kit, which you can barely see the edge of right here. The PIC-32 um, supports both USB device and host. In this application where we've got an actual uh, MP3 player on here, we select a song and hit play. You can, see the, uh, you can see the audio start to scroll across there, but most importantly, you can see the, the file is actually coming from the USB drive here. So the PIC32 is acting as a USB host, reading the file there, playing back the audio, and actually performing in a 64-point FFT on the, uh, on the information as well. So very high performance application. It's doing graphics, USB simultaneously, and playing back music. So a great building block for multimedia applications. Over to this guy here, we've got a little bigger PIC-18. As you can see, same architecture, but a few more pins on a little PIM module that's meant for the PIC-18 Explorer board. Moving up in performance, we've got two 16-bit solutions right here. If we start with the small guy here, the DS PIC, has both uh, USB host and uh, USB device capability, and this little starter card plugs into a number of our other boards. Moving on down to a more full-featured development system, this entire stack up that we have here starts with the Explorer 16. We've got a PIC24 module with USB here, one of several devices that uh, can plug into this board. Moving on, we've got a USB expansion board here that breaks out all three types of USB. We have a device, a host, and on the go, so you can do development for any style of USB that uh, your application needs. Moving on a little further over, we've got an actual graphics subsystem also being driven by the PIC24. We've got an external graphics chip here and then feeding into the LCD. So you can very easily as a designer mix and match your, uh, your design development boards to closely emulate, emulate your design. So in addition to the USB framework, we've got graphics running here. So specifically in this demo, if we go ahead and touch the thumb drive, you can see a list of files here, and that's actually running off the thumb drive, which is right here. So that's being used, the PIC24 is a USB host, USB drive is supplying the files, and if I go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the touch screen, we go ahead and see one of the, uh, one of the photos being pulled off the, off the drive. So, again, we have all sorts of uh, uh, hardware solutions ranging from the uh, PIC-18 clear up to 16-bit and 32-bit, USB host, USB device, but very importantly, we also have a USB framework that allows quick and easy development to get your application out to market.